Choke, no joke, cheeky choke, no joke. Choke, no joke, cheeky choke, no joke. You know what it is. We here now. What's good, y'all? What's good? Choke, no joke, I'm in the building. All right, now, <clears throat> this one go out to all Diddy's fake friends, right? Especially you fake friends that don't understand the charges. We let R. Kelly go to jail. And when I say we, I just mean us, we as a culture, right? Everybody turned their back on R. Kelly because the sex tape from back in the days, right? In 2008, R. Kelly went to court for that sex tape. And he was acquitted. Now, I know a lot of y'all, yeah, I don't care, he was acquitted. I saw the tape, that was him, da 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 In the court of law, he was acquitted, right? That was in 2018, 2008, I'm sorry. He went to court for that. He went to trial, he beat it, right? He was acquitted. Um, eight years later after that, about 2016, 2017, R. Kelly finds himself in the situation. Now, by 2016, 2017, we have no longer heard about R. Kelly uh, having uh, relationships with minors. Minors, right? Um, then he gets into the scandal with a girl, Joycelyn, who was 21, and a girl, Azriel, who was 18, according to her parents. But they lied and said she was 17. I mean, lied and she was 17, turning 18. But her parents lied, they manipulated. A mother was texting R. Kelly and, and trapping him and stuff. And all this came out after R. Kelly got his discovery in court after being locked up and stuff, right? It came to find out that uh, uh, Alice Clary, Asriel Clary, mother, entrapped R. Kelly, but it did him no good because he was already convicted. The court did him dirty, they didn't give him that information until after he was found guilty. So hopefully on an appeal, he could get that overturned and maybe get them th 30 years thrown away. But he's still gonna have 20 years in Chicago for the sex tape that they retrialed him again on because he beat it. But they retrialed him again for it in uh, like 2017 or whatever. And he was found guilty federally. So one time it was the state, the second time it was the feds, right? Hold on a second. Hopefully y'all ain't see that. Right, so, um, but even with R. Kelly, a lot of y'all didn't understand the charges. A lot of y'all didn't understand how they was able to go back 20 years and charge him for the sex tape again after he beat it already. Um, some of y'all was wondering, well, how can they charge him for these girls in this, you know, statute of limitations up? That's where they hit him with the Man Act, right? Now, I told, all you celebrities, when I covered the R. Kelly trial, y'all better pay attention to this because y'all going to be next, right? But nobody gave a fuck. They said, oh, fuck R. Kelly. I don't like care about no R. Kelly, you know what I'm saying? That nigga's a pedophile, this, that, and the other. He didn't even go to jail for pedophilia, <laughs> right? But y'all not paying attention. He went to jail for being a freak, for having one or more girl 